When it comes to video games, there's difficulty and then there's cruelty. Welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most cruel video games ever made. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at some of the most cruel games ever made, from the unreasonably difficult to the technically hampered and unplayable. However, we aren't considering games like Dark Souls or Celeste, as difficult games of that caliber are tough, but fair. Number 10, Super Star Wars. Why this was re-released for the PlayStation 4 and PS Vita, we'll never understand. Super Star Wars is one of those games that seems like it's just another hard platformer, until you quickly discover that it's one of the most unfair games on the whole damn planet. As you make your way through the first level, multiple enemies start spawning in the background. While they can be killed in just a couple of hits, they respawn almost half a second later and are definitely out to murder you. It's definitely not an unplayable game, but trying to progress becomes a bit of a chore. We'd rather take our chances with the actual Sarlacc Pit. That's a thing, right? Number 9. I Wanna Be The Guy, The Movie, The Game If you're looking for a game that is the definition of sadism, then I Wanna Be The Guy, The Movie, The Game might be what you're looking for. Taking pages from the old days of difficult platformers, the game forces players to go through a constant trial and error process, avoiding death traps like spikes and uh, apples. As if the explosion of blood isn't humiliating enough, the game over screen is accompanied by a heavy metal score, which we won't lie kinda kicks ass, but whatever. I Wanna Be The Guy is just one of those games that's best enjoyed from watching others rage out over it. Number 8, Silver Surfer. There are many games where you can die in just one hit but they are still fair in many ways. The Contra games come to mind, but if there's one game that seems to strictly abide by the one hit rule, it's Silver Surfer for the NES. You're given very little time to react and avoid obstacles here. Should we mention that even the walls are instant death? To add to your frustration, the graphics are so poor that it's hard to tell what can and cannot kill you, let alone where bullets might be flying. In the end, Silver Surfer just expects too much from gamers. Number 7, Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels You know, in hindsight, maybe there was a good reason this wasn't officially Super Mario Bros. 2 in the West. Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels wasn't actually released outside of Japan until 1993 as part of Super Mario All-Stars, and honestly we can see why. The Lost Levels, aka Super Mario Bros. 2, wasn't just a hard game, it was kind of agonizing. Question blocks could spawn poisonous mushrooms that could take away a hit point or just kill you, gusts of wind could mess up your jumps, and certain warp pipes could hinder your progress by sending you back a couple of levels. We appreciate it as a piece of gaming history, but it's also a prime example of how to make a game incredibly aggravating. Number 6, XCOM 2. We understand the point of XCOM 2 is to feel overwhelmed, but that does not excuse some of the asinine stuff it pulls at the beginning of the game. For starters, no matter how close you are to an enemy, you're never actually guaranteed to hit your targets. You could be two squares away from the enemy, and you are not guaranteed a 100% chance to hit. To make matters worse, XCOM 2 throws some of the most irritating enemies in early on, such as the Sectoid, which can mind control your soldiers, cause them to panic and refuse to take orders, or just have them shoot each other for fun. Honestly, with enemies this prepared, maybe they just deserved to take over the Earth. Number 5, Battletoads. Battletoads has been known as one of the most notoriously difficult games in the platforming genre. The game demands your full attention, so much so that it ends up becoming more reliant on memorization and quick reactions. Now, typically, adding in a second player would make these games a little bit easier, but on the contrary, it does the exact opposite, as you could accidentally end up killing your buddy just for trying to beat up some bad guys. Battletoads is fondly remembered, but is the nostalgia really worth the migraines and frustration? With a new release slated for 2019, we wonder if the difficulty will make its way into this new title. <laughs> Number 6, Final Fantasy 
number four, Ghosts and Goblins. With a name like Ghosts and Goblins, we'd expect almost everything to try to kill us. But this is uh, taking it a bit far. You're constantly being bombarded with different kinds of enemies, each with their own specific attack patterns. Not only that, but you have no way of saving your progress. Checkpoints, non-existent. But wait, there's more! After you've completed your first run, you must go through the entire game a second time to defeat the true final boss, all while being on a higher difficulty. Good luck, kid, you're gonna need it. Number three, Superman, AKA Superman 64. We could easily talk about how cruel Superman 64 was in terms of decimating our hopes for a good game, but we'd be here all day. No, Superman 64 is cruel in just how broken it truly is. You'll find yourself fighting the terrible controls that are constantly unresponsive, random encounters with a large assortment of glitches, and the god-awful camera. Then there are the rings, the most useless and unrewarding task in all of gaming history. Just when you think you've seen all the crap that Superman 64 has to offer, it manages to surprise you with a new, terribly cruel experience. <laughs> Number two, Trap Adventure 2. Chances are you've seen this mobile game pop up on your social media feed at some point. Trap Adventure 2 has been described as one of the most cruel games you could ever play. Each time you think you figured out how to pass an obstacle, it throws something completely unexpected at you, like spontaneously spawning a wall of spikes. With its trial and error gameplay, Trap Adventure 2 will likely crush your hopes and dreams the same way it crushes your character. Trust us, this is not for the easily irritated, unless you want a broken phone. Number 1. Dragon's Lair NES Version The arcade version may feel frustrating at times, but it's still somewhat fair. As for the NES version, this game is anything but fair. The controls are clunky as hell, and just about everything can kill you with just one hit. As if things couldn't possibly get any worse, the elevator portion of the game is actually a living nightmare. Should you choose to get off on the wrong floor, you could potentially be sent back to the beginning of the game. Getting past that first screen is already torture, and honestly, we'd rather play any of the other games on this list than go through this bullshit ever again. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.